Hey, Alex here. I'm the developer of LandNav. In this video, I'm going to answer uh, some user questions uh, just about some general controls of how to uh, use a protractor and then also how to use the uh, orient the map feature. Uh, okay, so I've just loaded up the, uh, the beginner practice course here and I've plotted my first points. Uh, and the way I've done that is using the, uh, the protractor. You can do it with the compass. With the compass, it's just a little slower because you have to uh, like rotate the compass around a bit more. Uh, so the protractor is just uh, kind of convenient, so it gives you a little more speed. Uh, so for plotting these points, the first thing I do is just identify the uh, kilometer grid square. And so I just uh, grab these, uh, the four digit numbers, so it's 0, 2, and then 6, 8. So I just get find 0, 2, okay, and then 6, 8 here. And then I'll just kind of put my protractor over there just to get started. And then we go in for the six and eight digits coordinates. So it's uh, four, seven. So I'll zoom in and uh, line up the corner there. Uh, now this, just because of the way the model is, it doesn't, um, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like a little bit of extra plastic there. And so if you try to put a point there, you, you know, she won't be able to do it, but you can there. So just be aware of that. The, the um, projector lines up a bit more like that. Uh, but I mean, if you're, you know, if it's like that or like that, it, it's not going to make enough of a difference really to matter. Um, it, you'll have a, you'll you'll have enough uh, natural kind of human error by the time you get to your point that little differences like that won't really be important. So that's that's one thing to keep in mind. A lot of time beginners uh, try to get like like laser accuracy, you know. Um, but by the time you're going around trees and you know just walking over terrain. Uh, and just making tons of you know natural human errors that are going to happen. Uh, those you know little kind of ten meter adjustments aren't aren't going to be uh, realistic to expect to have that kind of accuracy. Uh, what you want to do is try to route plan your routes so that you don't need a high degree of accuracy for it to work. Right? You're, you know the the best plan is one that you know you can make all the human mistakes possible and yet you're still going to get to your target on time. So that's kind of what you want to go for is, is how can I make a plan that has as much fail safes in it as possible. Okay, so um, it's just a tangent. But so yeah, then what I'll do is uh, start plotting the six and eight digits. So it's four, seven. So you come over to, uh, I'll just come over to four. And I'm just using the, uh, the WASD keys. You can drag it too, but once you lined up one uh, axis, it's kind of a little more precise just to uh, move it with the WASD keys. So I'll go to four and then come over to four seven, uh, and so if you just if you just press you know A and D, it goes by uh, fives on the projector there, and if you hold Alt, it goes by uh, uh, fifty units, and then if you hold Shift, it just kind of nudges it slightly. So I'll come to the five, uh, so four five. And then, but we want to go to four seven, so I'll come back just just nudge it a little slightly past seven, you know, between the five and the and the next uh, hundred meter digit, you just kind of have to guess or, or or not guess, but kind of estimate. Okay, so now we got the four seven, and now we can do the up portion. So you always plot it right and up, so it's four eight, and so then I just come up to four eight, so that's going to be. Uh, Out right here. Did I plot it wrong the first time when I plotted it? Or am I looking at it wrong? So 4, 7 and then 4, 8. That'll be about right here. And so uh, because of that little extra lip on the project here to plot it, usually I'll just, just press 2 and just get the project out of the way, you know, keeping your mouse where it is. Plot it. Looks like I, uh, when I plotted this before, I maybe I misread and made some mistake. Oh yeah, I went to 6, 8 instead. So that's the kind of mistake you could make when you're you know, not fully paying attention, you can uh, mess up one of these numbers here. Uh, in order to, to help avoid that, you can, what I used to do in the army is rewrite this thing. So I'll just break it in half. So it's uh, 0, 2, 4, 7. And then you can just do a space or a attack or something like that. And then 6, 8, 4, 8. And, uh, and then of course you'll, you'll erase this later, but just for uh, when you're plotting to help you avoid uh, mixing up numbers. 
uh, you can just write it out there and that way it makes it a little more obvious. You can do that in your notes as well. Okay, um, so I'll just, you know, I'll, that shows you enough of using the project to plot them. Now let's say uh, you want to start planning your route. Uh, it's simple enough for the projector, you know, let's say you're gonna, you decide, okay, I'm gonna start, uh, let's say this is my starting position. I'm gonna start from my starting position, I'm gonna go to this point, and I'm gonna go from that point to that point. So you just, uh, just line up the projector on it, and then once you've clicked the protractor, now when you use the bracket keys, uh, this uh, line will rotate, and uh, you can hold Alt to make it go by uh, tens, and then hold Shift to make it go by uh, 90, and then just press it without holding anything, and it goes by one degree at a time. And so you just line it up, and then uh, you can zoom out, or you can just drag it over and see what the azimuth is. So it's going to be uh, 38. Uh, so the azimuth is 38, and so I'll make a note of that. Uh, no, but that's your grid azimuth, right? Um, so uh, it doesn't matter which way I'm facing right now, I could be facing any way, but this protractor, its north line is aligned with the maps north, and if it was slightly off, if you had this, uh, uh, if you had it like rotated or something like that, then this azimuth wouldn't be meaningful, right? Because there's uh, a difference between the map and the protractor. So to quickly reset them, you just hold the, uh, uh, so the, the protractor's key to show it is two. If you hold down Alt and then press two, it resets the uh, protractor. Same thing with the map. The map's key is four. And then if you hit Alt four, it resets it. So now they're both uh, perfectly aligned. You can see that they're, uh, they're aligned. So now, uh, whatever reading I take with this protractor is the uh, going to be the grid azimuth. So before I go, so let's see, that was uh, 38. I'm going to just write grid there while you're working just to remind yourself. So then we just want to apply that uh, GM angle before we start walking on the ground. So so what, we, what we've said here is the angle from this point to that point on the map is 38 degrees. But because the compass, the compass's north is slightly different than the map's north, we have to account for that. And so this declination diagram will tell you. Uh, but there's also notes about it in the uh, somewhere in here. GM angle. And so this is just kind of a, a reference you can use. It's it's going to explain how to use the uh, the declination diagram here on the map. Um, and so if this magnetic north angle is left on the left side, which on this map it is, uh, we're in the GM angle uh, zone of uh, west. So then if we are in the west zone, which we are, uh, then we, if we want to convert a grid to a magnetic, we add the GM angle. So our GM angle here is 5, and so since we're going from grid to magnetic, we're adding it. Uh, what we do is uh, just add 5 to 38, which will be, what, 43, I think? Maybe I did that math wrong, but uh, you can, since you're on a computer, you can always pull up your calculator. Uh, you probably don't need a calculator for simple math, but, you know, if you're on a rush, it's easy to make little mistakes. Oops, see, see what I mean? Little mistakes. <laughs> yeah, 43. Okay, um, so yeah, so 43 is our uh, azimuth that we're going to travel on. Uh, and then so we can start our movement. Okay, so uh, I'll just reset my map's position. And now, uh, okay, so let's talk about the uh, orient the map feature. Um, if you're dead reckoning, probably the first thing you'll do is uh, grab your compass and uh, and you'll line yourself up until you hit 43 uh, degrees so 43 will be you know about you know slightly more than halfway between 40 and 45 uh, so now we're facing our azimuth and, and I mean you could just start start walking but uh, there's a few problems with doing it that way 
you know, if you start kind of going a little left or a little right or whatever, and you want to check and see if you're still on your azimuth, you got to zoom all the way in and, and look at the, for that tiny thing. Uh, so what's better to do is uh, once you've lined up there uh, and the compass is selected, press those bracket keys and uh, now you'll move the bezel ring on your compass. And you can see that little luminous that little luminous strip. It's easier to see when it's a little dark outside. Uh, but you just want to line that up with the uh, the north guy there and you can come to your planning view here to do it because what the planning view does is it switches to an orthographic camera and uh, and so there's no perspective where you can see in this camera there's you know it, it could be a little harder to line it up uh, exactly because there's a little bit of perspective in the camera uh, in, in the newer versions of the game I kind of made this a little better so you don't have to use two different cameras but it, it was kind of a hard problem to solve so it took me a while uh, but okay, so now these are lined up. So now I know that as long as these are lined up and it's easier to kind of look and see if those are lined up, then I'm on my azimuth. I don't have to look at those little numbers. Uh, and so I can just walk, right? And then as I'm walking, uh, I can just, uh, even if I'm running, I can just kind of stop periodically, check and say, are those, you know, still lined up? Okay, you know. And so you can go like that. You can just turn the auto move on and, uh, find some point in the distance to go to, and then you don't need your compass so much, right? You know, like, okay, I'm headed for that tree. Once I get to that tree, then I'll find, you know, a new target, but that way I don't have to kind of stop and, and be slave to my compass so much. Okay, uh, now, where orienting the map comes in is, uh, let's say you're going along the route and you, you're kind of uh, reading, ter the, reading the terrain to keep tabs on where you are, right? Um, and right now, uh, I'm facing not quite north. I'm facing kind of northeast a little bit, right? And so if I'm looking at my map, I have to do a bit of kind of mental gymnastics, right? Because I this is the map's north. So if I imagine myself as a dot, like let's say this dot is me, I would be facing kind of like that way, right? Kind of angling that way. And then so if I'm trying to read some of these terrain features, let's say I, let's say I'm here, right? and I know that I'm facing kind of about that way, I would say, okay, well then, this draw is gonna be to my left, and this draw is gonna be to my right, and then I should be see it, seeing a hill up there, you know, kind of to my one o'clock position. Uh, it's a little difficult, uh, especially like if I imagined I was facing this way, right? Because you kind of have to orient yourself mentally. Uh, so what a lot of people like to do is to orient the map. And so then what you can do is you can just hold down the right button, right mouse button, this only works while you're not in the uh, not in the um, planning mode. If you're in the planning mode, it won't it'll it'll draw on the map rather than orient it. Uh, but now what what happened is the uh, I'll show you one second. Uh, let me kind of skew these a bit. Okay, so the rotation of those is kind of skewed. What it's going to do is it's going to snap the map. Oh wait, it doesn't do that automatically. So first you need to make sure your map and compass are, are lined up. So if you hit Alt-1, that resets your compass. So if your compass is, is not aligned with the map and you want to just easily line it up, uh, just hit Alt-1 and then that resets the position. Uh, it actually toggles between like a, a forward position and then a side position. So you can use that to kind of quickly move the compass in and out of, of your view. Okay, so the compass and the map are aligned. Uh, and then all I've got to do is hold that right mouse button. And this is the same as in real life if you kind of held them together. Then, And what you do is you rotate them until you can see that that magnetic needle is uh, lined up with the uh, north, uh, the magnetic north. So, uh, so now what that means is that the map is uh, oriented the same way I'm facing. So now if we say, like, I'm here what I should see in front of me is uh, whatever's on the map, right? And that can help me, because now if I if I have the map oriented and I thought I was like right here, and uh, but I'm not seeing this in front of me, instead it's, uh, you know, I'm seeing like this draw over here or something, it, it can help me uh, terrain associate more easily. Okay, so let's say you've, you know, you've identified that, okay, I need to travel at an azimuth of 
43 degrees, and that's my magnetic azimuth because I, I did the conversion from the map azimuth to the, uh, front, or from the grid azimuth, I should say, to the uh, magnetic azimuth. So that's good to go. I'm, re I'm ready to, uh, to use it and start walking. So there's a, kind of a few ways you can do things. Um, uh, you can, uh, you know, make sure, hold down the orient button and make sure that you're facing north and, and the uh, compass uh, is aligned north. So I'm just kind of tweaking my rotation while also holding down the right mouse button until those are lined up. And now you can, uh, you know, with your compass selected, just click on it to select it. You can use those bracket keys to uh, set that bezel to the uh, 43 there. And then you can uh, rotate yourself until the uh, compass's uh, magnetic line lines up with your bezel. And now you're facing 43, 43 degrees, right? You can, you can start walking. Uh, and if you want to start uh, orienting your map so that you can kind of keep an eye on your map as you're going to uh, more easily read the terrain, uh, you can just hit right mouse button. And now if you're wanting to also keep using that compass and, and make sure that the, uh, the bezels lined up so you're on your azimuth, just reset the compass by hitting Alt-1. Uh, you can hit it twice and it, and it snap, snaps back to your center hold position. And so now you can kind of orient your map and then also keep your compass uh, there so you can double check to make sure you're you know staying on your azimuth as you move. Be aware though, when you're looking at it like this, it looks like it's slightly off, right? Because there's some perspective in the camera. So if you want to be certain that it's you know really accurate, just come to the, uh, the planning view and then you have the uh, orthographic camera here, which removes all of the perspective. Uh, but, you know, it, being laser precise with it like that, I, I, I would say, you know, don't uh, don't worry about that too much. It's going to kind of get you focused on the wrong things. Try more to uh, uh, plan your routes so that you don't you don't need such a high degree of accuracy and, and you can still get to your time, uh, your target on time. OK, so uh, so, yeah, that's kind of how you do it. So now you are able to uh, check your compass and say, OK, I'm, I'm kind of on azimuth. I can move it off to the side, uh, just hitting Alt-1 uh, to move it from center hold to the side, and then I can take a look at my map. And then as I'm moving, uh, you know, if I, if I deviate a little this way or deviate it a lot, a lot way to go around some obstacle or something like that, I can just orient my map, move the compass out the way, and then, and then I can take a look at my map. And that way it's like, okay, the map is oriented to me, so whatever... I see uh, it will be more easy to identify on the map. Okay, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, uh, feel free to uh, run them by me and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, and if uh, on the weekends, sometimes if you want kind of like a side-by-side -side, uh, walk along, I can probably uh, spend a couple hours uh, with you, uh, especially anybody who's getting ready to go in the military. I'm happy to uh, help.